Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. Well, who knew, way back when, when we started building models, that in time we'd also have to become photographers. Well, that certainly has become the case, as our primary method of sharing our models with one another is through our photographs. Well, first, let me say, I'm not immune to taking a bad picture. That happens from time to time. But I am more consistent at taking good pictures, and I have a few tips and tricks that hopefully will help you to also become consistent in taking good photographs of your models. Whether you take photographs for your own personal use to archive your models, or perhaps you take photographs in order to share them on one of the social media platforms or websites, say Instagram or Facebook, or perhaps you would like to have your model in the pages of a magazine. The process of taking photographs and editing photographs that I'll show you on this video is the same process that I use no matter which type of a platform that I'll be posting the final photographs on. So I guess the first place to start is that I use a light box and this is from a company called Orange Monkey and it's called a Foldio and I'll put a link for that in the description below. Next in line is the camera itself and that is a Nikon D5600 and that sits on a Manfrotto tripod. I shoot using manual settings. The ISO is at 100. The f-stop is generally between say 29 and 32 and then it's just a matter of adjusting the shutter speed for the particular image. One nice feature of this camera is it does have a touch sensitive screen so I can go through the live view in order to compose the photograph and actually take the photograph. I set the timer at two seconds, hit the image on the screen, and two seconds later I have a photograph. I still haven't tethered my cameras to my computer yet, so it's just a matter of transferring the data from SD card into the computer itself. I capture the images in both JPEG and Camera Raw. I always take two photographs every time when I shoot, and for whatever reason, the second photograph always just looks a little bit nicer. The raw image is opened in Photoshop, and then I just played a little bit with the texture and clarity, and that's just a little bit of adding contrast and a little bit of sharpness to the image. So once I'm done fiddling around in the raw side, I save as I copy, which changes or transforms the raw image into a JPEG and becomes the background layer. And since I don't want to mess up the background layer, I go ahead and make a copy, and this will allow me to do edits onto the JPEG. And if I do mess something up, I can just get rid of this layer and start again using the background copy. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is just resize and reposition the image within the window. I'll then go to lens correction, and you'll see a little bit of a pop here, a little bit of a shift, and this just gets rid of any distortion caused by the lens itself. Next up, I'm a big believer in having really nice crisp white backgrounds, so I go into the levels adjustment, move that top slider into the white area of the histogram just to clean up that background. I adjust a little bit maybe on the midtones if I've lost a little bit through that slider, and then I'm basically done. So it's just a matter of saving the photograph. I do save a copy, which in this case allows me to save it as a JPEG. I renumber it in my filing system. In this case, I'll just number it number one, turn it from Photoshop into a JPEG, and save the file. And it's just that simple. So that is my entire process from basically start to end. And here is the result of all that work. Well, honestly, that really wasn't all that much work, was it? But I do hope there was something useful in there, something you can use when taking photographs of your own work. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like and subscribe. It does help the channel get out to more and more people. And if you really like this channel and would like to support it further, I do have a Patreon page, and the link for that is below. Until next time, keep up the good work and happy modeling. Take care.